Chess friends, welcome back. It's another day of the grind. Let's find a game and try to win some points. Okay, D4. Playing against Game Dive Climb from the UK. Uh, what's the correct response to this? I believe there is this idea of um, F6 with the knight and then E6 as well. I think I'll try that. I forget exactly what this defense is called, but the idea is to sort of pin the knight here. Think about this. Boom, boom. Okay, we can pin the knight. I only very vaguely know this line. Um, and then I do have the possibility to just stack his pawns right away and sort of weaken his structure at the cost of a bishop um, which I'm just gonna do I think at a higher level that maybe wouldn't work but I think at this level it will work and then so he has a he has a loose pawn there now. I believe I can just push up d5 now. Take some control of the center. Um, if he wants to take this knight, that's fine. I'll just get my queen out. Not having to think too hard this game so far, I'll be entirely honest. It's a very even game so far. Only downside is my light square bishop is blocked in, but that's fine. Um, I think in between d7 and c6, sort of what's the better idea uh, to develop the knight? Okay, d3 is a good square for his bishop. It's very active. Very active square for him. Hmm. Could just try to like trade these off right away too. Uh, C5 doesn't make any sense. Yeah, my bishop's just in a really rough spot, so I'm thinking about sort of what's going to be the best way to Get him out. He did also just weaken g2, but I want to develop. I'm just trying to think kind of through the best way. Hmm. Might want to just get my knight out, out onto f6 eventually. Let's just do that. Could, could always go like b6 with the knight too for some reason. a4. Just develop a rook. Okay, so he's defending h2 now. I should be able to win e5 if I push up. Um, this will hopefully help me break open. Break open this diagonal for the bishop as well. Um, yeah, I have two attackers on e5. If I were to push up and he takes can just retake back with the knight and then take with the queen. Um, and then I'd have a really nice attack on h2, but I don't have um, the dark square bishop to really back this up. Hmm. I would like to keep my... Well, if I go for the e5 attack, I'm going to lose the knight. 
Maybe C5. I'd rather be able to recapture rather be able to recapture with the knight on c5 This does put his knight into a good spot though. I wonder if there's maybe just a good reason. Hmm. Maybe I should just put the rook out by his queen or something like that. Again, my bishop's very inactive here. I'm almost thinking b6. Maybe I can just pressure his bishop, huh? And then this sort of opens out the file and at least allows the bishop to breathe a little bit. Hmm. I feel like there's so many different possibilities here. Uh, I'm just kind of struggling to find the best move here. Um, you don't really just want to go for the pawn recapture is the thing. I want to make a move that's going to sort of set up my minor pieces for a good attack. B6 with the knight just seems kind of like a lame move. It is a bit forcing though. I'd rather go after his high value pieces. I'm just gonna try. I know this looks a little bit weird. Okay, I'm actually perfectly okay with this. Um if yeah, this basically pins his uh pins his pawn. In worst case scenario, we can just trade off on d7. Could always just pressure his, uh, continue to pressure his bishop. I'll just do that. His bishop is in my territory, and I don't want it in my territory. And there is still the option of him blundering the pawn capture on c5 there. My rook has uh, x-ray on his queen. Okay. Could always push up. The luxury of e5 is not really there anymore. And my knight's in a little bit of a weird spot because I don't have any defense here. I'll just recapture. Worst case scenario, I can just bring my knight back to d5 and block his pawn push a little bit. Interesting. Well, this is going to be a bit of a forced move. Um, so I do see 
a nice fork. He set me up for a nice fork. Um, if I can get over to C3. So that would be a really sick fork. I don't know if there's a specific term for like triple fork. Um, I'll be really shocked if he doesn't defend this though. Perfect. So this should just win a rook. Maybe I get lucky and win a queen too. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything here. Oh, I actually do have a check as well. Hmm. What would you guys do here? Would you save your knight, get the check? Or would you just take the rook for free? Because then, don't I just win a bishop and a pawn this way? I don't know. This is really tough. I don't want to lose a knight. And I get a free pawn out of this as well. And now my knight is still not in danger. I think this is okay. He's almost forced to just recapture here. I can't forget about my diagonals on the queen, though. My, my queen is a bit exposed on this diagonal. My knight is not in danger yet. Um, I still haven't developed my bishop, which I really don't like. There's g3 and just sacking the knight. That just seems bad. <laughs> I'm going to push e5. I have to get the bishop out already. I also need to remember that I only have one defender on b7, but he wouldn't attack with his queen, so I'm just going to push a pawn up. Let me think. There's no way that I can attack his queen, right? Yeah, I can't attack his queen. I'm just going to push a pawn up. I'm just tired of this bishop being um, back here on the back rank. I'll trade off. Actually, that's just a free knight. <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> what have I done, man? I had one job. I, I got way too excited there. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Look at the entire board, man. Well, whatever. I'll just take your rook. What a turbulent game. What an absolutely turbulent game. Free pawn. <laughs> oh man, I'm going to get so much hate for this. I'll just keep trading off, whatever.
Um, I actually do have a really sick move here. Um, check and then wins the queen. <laughs> this was all part of the plan. I hope he attacks. He has to move his queen to basically anywhere. Um, I don't know. Judging by how this game has gone so far, I don't know if he'll notice that. Yeah, okay, he didn't notice it. <laughs> what is this game, bro? <laughs> oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> I spuddy love you. <laughs> Who blundered their queen the worst? <laughs> oh, that was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm going to lose it, man. That was such a funny game. Yeah, this move was pointless. <laughs> Uh, sorry, game dive climb. <laughs> this move just didn't do anything. <laughs> but you really got me with that discovered attack on the queen, though. I gotta hand it to you. <laughs> Good move there. <laughs> I knew that bishop was sitting here on the starting square for a reason the entire game. <laughs> Oh, this is funny. I don't think there's really any need to uh, do a proper game review on this one. <clears throat> I figure s <coughs> somehow I was still up three points of material here, so just taking the rook or trading the rook off really just um, seemed like the way to go. And then, yeah, uh, what do you call this? What do you call this? It's like a discovered attack, right? Would this be considered a discovered attack? Yeah, obviously the worst thing he could have moved. Uh, or obviously the worst move he could have played. This permits the opponent to win a queen through a discovered attack. This misses opportunity eventually when a pawn. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> oh, this move was so satisfying, man. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, GG game dive climb. Um, That was a lot of fun. Uh, really just a wild game. Um, this is a lot more fun than yesterday's game. Yesterday's game kind of gave me anxiety, if I'm being totally honest. It was a really hard-fought victory, and this was, um, quite the opposite. It was just kind of an exchange of <laughs> bad moves. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> GG, guys, and I'll see you guys, uh, tomorrow. <laughs>